warm welcome to today's three and three on the topic of fulfillment. My name is Tara Catanzano and I'm going to provide you with three pearls that relate to personal fulfillment. Now, I'm sure many of you listening to this are involved in the healthcare field and realize that you spend far more of your time at work than when you're not at work. So I'll ask you first, is it important to feel fulfilled in this setting? And I think clearly the answer is yes. When you spend so much of your time in one setting, you really do need to feel fulfilled and engaged in it so that you can continue to be successful in that arena. So how do you do that? And this is the first pearl, purpose. I'll ask you to reflect on this. Can you sum up for me in one sentence what your purpose is when you came to work today? I'll also ask you if your life purpose is the same as your work purpose. And they may not be the same. And is that important? I think the answer to that is clearly yes, because when we have opposing things that are demanding our time, we really need to feel purpose and fulfillment in both. So be aware that there can be different purposes in life and in work. If you weren't able to answer what it is that you feel purpose about in the work environment, how can you get there? Well, that's my second pearl, is the importance of self-reflection. Very often in the healthcare arena are so busy that we don't take the time to think about how we feel about a certain situation or an event or what we're participating in as our daily activities. So I would urge you to take the time to be thoughtful and self-reflective. As you're driving to or from work, use that opportunity to think about what was it that you got up this morning not able to wait to do? What did you want to get to work to be able to start your day doing? Did you feel fulfilled when you actually accomplished it? Why? What was it about that activity that made you feel good and involved and purposeful? On the contrary, what is it that you did that you didn't enjoy doing? What made you feel drained and lacking energy at the end of completing that task? Be mindful about noting these. The third is your passion. You can use your passion to figure out your purpose. Again, it goes back to the self-reflection. What is it that you are passionate about? Did you really enjoy that patient encounter that you had today? Was it being able to participate in a research project that you had the opportunity to do? Did you love teaching the trainee who was sitting by your side? Do these get your juices flowing? What is it that makes you excited about this? Can you use this passion to fuel your purpose? Can you craft your job activities so that you get to do more things in the area that you have passion and purpose around and less in those you don't? Those will lead you to fulfillment. So again, fulfillment, three pearls. Find your purpose, do self-reflection, and then find your passion. Your passion will lead you to your purpose and to your sense of fulfillment.